Let's start by visiting the GCAF website. You can explore the available information about the wallet and also find the option to download the application. Select Download from the App Store for iPhone or Google Play for Android. You could also search for Dikov Wallet directly in the App Store and download the application from here. Now open the Dikov Wallet. You will have these options to sign in. You can use either Apple ID if you have an iPhone or Google Sign In. In any case, your account will be created with the email associated with these options. Or simply log in by entering your email and password manually. Next, enter a six digit security code. Remember it because the system will ask for it every time you log in. Now you are inside your wallet. First, go to Profile. In the General section, you can change the wallet's language. Also change the base currency to view the value of your assets in your country's local currency. For example, let me choose Colombian Peso and he will return to the home page to see the total value of my assets in Colombian Pesos. Now go back to the profile and go to the security and privacy option. Find and save your private keys. This is an 8 word specific key for your wallet. Never share these keys with anyone. In DCAF, besides these keys, you can log in with your email as we did at the beginning and you will never lose access to your wallet. In the support option, you can contact the support team at any time if you have questions or need help. Now edit your profile. You can change your name and your username. The username makes it easy for other DCAF wallet users to find you and send you money faster. Now on the main screen at the bottom, you can see all the cryptocurrencies available in your wallet and their amounts. The total balance will be shown in the first part of the screen. Now click on receive to find your wallet address on the Solana and the Stellar network. Click copy to share your address with anyone who wants to send you money. Finally, as a quick access to the address, you can also click on the little arrow next to the balance and find it there.